Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Antoine and welcome to another repair video on the channel. Today we have an iPhone XR, came with restarting problem every 5 to 10 minutes by itself. Uh, now the customer said that it restarts uh, randomly even without touching the phone. So I'm just plugging the phone here because it's just 8% and on uh, low power mode. Uh, and uh, as I talked uh, before about uh, the random restarts in my couple of old videos, I need to always check the panics in analytics and improvements. So uh, basically, if you uh, if you have any panics, then it's something happened to your uh, iOS device that caused the system from uh, starting properly. And uh, here you can see that all the panics are almost the same. AOP panic, no pulse, power two. So this is a panic, I guess. Uh, AOP uh, something to do with the sound. So if you don't have um, a program, the uh, crash analytics, or uh, you don't know how to read uh, the crashes, uh, you need always to check all the phone functionality. So here I'm going to speed up to check everything is working okay, the face ID, uh, basically all the, uh, all the functionality in the phone. So, okay, scan my face, and face ID is working, and now let's go and check all the other stuff again speeding up because i don't want to make this uh, intro even more longer than it is and uh, here you can see everything is looking okay so now we are going to check uh, how the phone or i'm going to show you if the phone uh, or how the phone uh, restarts by itself again face it is still working uh, it's plugged in the charger and i'm not going to touch the phone at all maybe i'm going to speed up a little bit but uh, Oh, and you can see it immediately just restarts by itself. Uh, that's a little weird. Uh, AOP panic, I uh, once did a video about an iPhone 11 with AOP panic. Uh, that was a problem with the um, audio amplifier ICs. And you can see again, the phone just restarts by itself when it plugged to the charger. Maybe because it plugged to the charger, maybe it's the charging flex. Uh, many of the panics caused by the charging flex cable, so uh, I'm guessing I'm going to um, start with this problem. But again, let's just check the, uh, the last panics. Yep, same AOP panic, no pulse on, power 2. And again, I'm going to just leave the phone without the charger, just to make sure that everything is okay. I'm just going to also speed forward the video a little bit. And uh, I'm not going to touch the phone. I touch the phone a little bit just to make sure that it's still everything is okay. So I'll plug, unplugged, plugged, unplugged. The phone still does not restart. That means that it could be maybe with the charger, maybe without the charger, maybe with the charging flex problem. And okay. And as you can see, again, the phone restarts even without the charging is uh, plugged. So I'll plug the charger and still the phone restarts. Uh, so I guess uh, the first thing to do, as always, is to check another charging flex cable and uh, if the problem is still, uh, still uh, there, that means that we have a uh, bigger problem than charging flex. Okay, I'll be taking a new charging flex cable, an original one, and test and see if it is a problem with the charging flex. Obviously, a typical problem with every iPhone panic, because whenever you post your problem in any Facebook group for technician or any form, they always respond with, use another charging flex cable, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I mean, it's not, it's not always the flex, you know? <laughs> so, anyhow, I'm going to test and see uh, if you have this problem with the charging flex or not, if you can fix it. And as you can see, the phone just restarted. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, of course, as I um, talked earlier on uh, my iPhone 11 uh, video, the AOP panic usually has something to do with audio, but it also could be due to uh, the AOP is a shortcut to always on processor, which is a small uh, lower or low power processors that have access to the microphone signals and audio signals uh, so it could be problem with any mic uh, I don't know each uh, we have upper flex and we have also the power flex and the charging flex 
all they all have microphones and you can see I just uh, disconnected the charger flex cable and still the phone is just restarting so that's not a problem with the charger flex obviously uh, I'm going to disconnect the upper flex cable because it's not that important to the phone to boot up and uh, Okay, let's just go to analytics, let's try to go to analytics and check if we have the same panic or not. We have the same panic, that means that we have a problem with something uh, else, not the charging flex, obviously. As you can see, AOP panic, no pulse on, power to, the same panic. So we didn't uh, solve the problem with the charging flex. And uh, here I am, connected the charging flex cable. Uh, left the phone for 15 minutes, the phone did not restart, everything looks okay, could be the upper flex cable, I don't know, the face ID was working, also the speaker, the upper speaker, um, let's check the uh, upper flex cable under the microscope, uh, so now let's jump under the microscope, I'm going to turn down the uh, upper flex and check uh, if, it's, uh, if it's not working. So this is the board and you can see that we have a clean uh, upper flex uh, connector on the board. So for those people who are wondering why I removed the upper flex uh, after the charging flex, even if the face ID is functional and also the speaker, well A, it has a mic and B, the uh, first flex I got my eye on, so it could be coincidence or luck, I don't know. Uh, but the right diagnostics, if you have a clean phone and inside of the board is clean, is obviously to check the functionality of the phone and then put the board along with, uh, with the screen only or begin to disconnect each flex. Uh, if the problem remains, that means you have a problem with the logic board. But I guess we found our problem, which is corrosion under the fluid eliminator, proximity sensor, and ambient line sensor. And a lot of corrosion, and to be honest, I'm really shocked that Face ID was working, and the proximity sensor was working. And also the ambient line sensor, which is making, I guess, making this phone uh, restarting, I don't know. But we have a lot of corrosion. Uh, I don't know if we need to uh, change the flex. Uh, the first thing to do is to uh, remove both sensors, both ICs, and then check the flex and clean everything and test, I guess. You can see that they already changed uh, the screen. They just swapped the flexes, no corrosion there. So I guess uh, now we're going to jump under, uh, under uh, the, again, under the microscope. Sorry, not under the microscope, to the preheater. Uh, because I'm going to show you how I remove uh, both the sensors, the ambient line sensor and the proximity sensor from the iPhone X and up. And after that, we're going to clean everything. And of course, after cleaning everything, soldering everything back and uh, test. So I'm using the Sunshine preheater for iPhone 11 and 11 Pro. You can use any preheater you want, but this is how I remove the sensor with uh, 250 degrees Celsius. But there is a small difference in iPhone 11 fluid limiter and proximity sensor IC, which is the base. So there is a sensor IC itself and the base, which is soldered with much harder solder. So I'll be removing it with my hotter station. So both the fluid limiter and the proximity sensor and the ambient light sensor must be removed. Uh, of course, I can tell I can tell right away if I need to swap the flex because I need to check first under the microscope. Uh, see how the corrosion went, uh, so it's just better to uh, clean and solder everything uh, back together and you can see the base is a little harder to remove, so now let's just go under the microscope to continue our work. You can see a lot of corrosion under the ambient line sensor and now we're going to remove the base from the flex, of course just to make sure uh, what corrosion we have under it, underneath it, uh, and I'm going to use uh, 280 degrees Celsius to remove with 13 air with my quick cutter station so it must be quick and smooth and of course it's very important to put something under the flex to make sure that the metal base from the other side of the proximity sensor in the fluid later IC is not moving or desolder it because it needs to keep up uh, to keep the flex straight uh, we'll clean everything put our mask on the scratched areas and after that uh, rebuilding both sensors and the base and solder everything back together and of course I'm hoping that everything will be functional and our problem will be solved. And the last thing is the use of the low temperature solder and paste while reboiling is very important uh, because I'm going to solder everything with my hotter station but with low heat 
uh, because it's more accurate and faster and I'll be soldering with only uh, 250 to 255 uh, degrees Celsius and from 1 to 15 air with my quick cutter station so I'm just um, explaining everything right away and uh, I'm going to speed forward the repair and I'll catch you um, after the repair is finished. Right to the final test as always i'm hoping that everything is uh, functional and the phone will will not restart anymore so now let's go and test the embed light sensor first and looks okay let's go and set up a new uh, face in face id settings or an alternative face so I'm going to scan my face right now and scan my face, everything looks okay and the uh, phone unlocks with my face so that means that face ID functionality is working and midline sensor is also working and the last thing to check is the uh, proximity sensor let's go and dial yep, proximity sensor is, uh, proximity sensor is working because the face ID is working that means that the proximity and the field limiter is working okay the IC itself and also we have the true tone so everything is working perfectly now the last thing to uh, check is the phone if the phone restarts or not uh, I'm going to leave it a couple of hours you can see now it's 1246 and I'll be coming back in a couple of hours to see if the phone is restarting so here we go as you can see is now 14.20 and uh, for sorry 14.02 or 02 and the phone is plugged in the charger and the phone does not restart so that means that everything is okay always check all the functionality and after that check if the phone restarts a couple of hours and then give it back to the customer customer is happy and everything is okay so i guess that's it for this video thanks for watching if the video was helpful please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future as always stay safe and have a good day i'll catch you guys in another repair video peace out